Hello everyone, this is group 5 for Object Oriented Design and Programming. Today we're going to go over the uh, application, the shopping cart application. So what you see here is the uh, executable jar file as well as the sellers and the customer's um, inventory or accounts. Alright, so we're going to get started first with going to the seller. Right now we have an existing seller called John Doe. So once you log in, you're going to see that you have the options to add an item. You're going to see his revenue, uh, cost and profit, as well as the modify item panel. So if you want to search for an item, you can go ahead and enter the ID. Click search. And this item here populates. So if you want to make any changes, say you now have 15, you can go ahead and modify that to 15 and click done. You can see now that item 102 has 15 uh, we have 15 in stock now the price and everything else stayed the same and also what modified was the revenue and the costs all right so let's say you want to add an item if you add an item 101 oh, excuse me if you go to 101 which already exists let's say the selling price is 500 and the invoice price is 350 Let's call this uh, Apple iPad latest latest iPad and let's say we have 10 in stock if we click add item you see here it says item already exists that's because the ID is unique so it's going to scan the inventory and see if this item is already there okay so go ahead and add a new item it's Apple iPad selling price we're going to sell it for 500 this cost us $350 latest iPad and we have 10 in stock so if we go ahead and add it you see that it came up right here Item 105, name, Apple iPad, we have 10. We sold zero, by default is always gonna be zero. Selling price is 500, invoice price is 350, and the description, latest iPad. And once again, the revenue, costs, and profits updated. Okay, so suppose we wanna delete an item. Let's go ahead and search 105, search that, click delete. You see that it's removed. All right, so let's go ahead and log out okay and let's go over to customer so we have already an existing customer um, well in this case I guess we can create a customer let's go ahead and create um, let's say Scott Scott James username that's James put in the password for James and let's purposely not have the passwords match. You see passwords do not match, please complete all fields. Okay, so set the password. All right, let's create this account. Account created, you may now log in. You can go ahead and sign in now. So it was Gus James, I believe password go ahead and log in so you can see on the right hand side we have the panel to search for an item by the item ID in the seller and on the left hand side you see all the products available for sale uh, we already have products for sale since there are other users or other sellers I'm sorry that have inventory so let's say we want to see what this product is headset $24.99 the quantity is 17 so when you go ahead and click show description or product description it's going to display the description for that item okay so let's go ahead and search I want to buy this laptop from John Doe uh, let's say product ID 102 and the seller J Doe search for that so the items available are 12 you see that everything from here essentially pops uh, populates okay let's say I want to buy five of these laptops add to cart 
So the cart total updates. Um, and let's say I want to add that item again. Right, search, and let's say I want to add three. It's going to say already in cart. Okay, so until I go to cart, that's when I can modify the quantity. Until then, I just have that item in my cart. Okay, and let's also add an item by this user 001. Search and it's I just want one of these phones. Okay, once again the cart updated. All right, I go to cart and you see all the products are listed here. Uh, the product description, gaming computer, product description, iPhone 11. Okay, if I want to edit the quantity, say we have five available. Let's just say I want a hundred. It says amount exceeds, so it does not accept it. Okay. But let's say, oh, I didn't mean to, to get five, I only wanted one. Click one and the amount changes, the cart total changes. Okay. And let's say, oh, I don't want this iPhone anymore. I go and remove it, the cart changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out. Put in this card number. Let's see. Place the order, your order has been shipped. Okay, so all I bought was the one laptop from John Doe. So I'm gonna log out and log into John Doe's account and see if we see those changes. Go ahead and log in. All right, so if you see, I believe we bought item 102. So the quantity is four now. Um, four sold, we had 12 available and three sold at first. Um, and let's just say we want to say I have more in stock now. I bought 20. Click done. You see that the profit and everything changes because I have since I bought more items, I my cost went up. Um, but no one has bought anything yet. If you look down here, okay. All right. So that's pretty much the shopping cart application. And once again, we are group five. Okay. And thank you for watching.